Hi everyone and welcome to the first video on my new YouTube channel. I'm your host, Misko Kuta, and on this channel we will dive into Microsoft products and especially Microsoft Mesh. To start, some of you might want to know what is Microsoft Mesh? Mesh was first introduced in 2021 and it's a metaverse platform made by Microsoft. They usually call it a communication and collaboration platform. The first version of Mesh was released quite some time ago. There was actually a preview version of it on the HoloLens 2, where you could jump into a virtual room, play around with 3D models, after that, Mesh really transformed. So what is the new Mesh really about? Well, the new version of Mesh doesn't actually use the HoloLens anymore, but rather lives inside your PC or your VR headset. Mesh also integrates much more into Teams now, which is where people work nowadays. Mesh features two main parts, which are avatars and immersive spaces. Avatars are probably the part of Mesh that you have seen or heard of already. And you can already use avatars in Teams today. You can create your own avatar and use it in your meetings rather than opening up your webcam. You can actually have up to three avatars and you can customize their look and their clothing. For example, I have three versions of my same avatar but with different clothing. One for client meetings, one for internal meetings and one for the Friday afternoon meetings. <laughs> Now the other half of Mesh and the very exciting part is the immersive spaces. These are 3D environments that you can jump into with your avatar and have, for example, a meeting in a whole new way. In some cases you can visualize some things much better in a 3D world rather than just on a 2D screen on your laptop. These immersive spaces can be accessed straight from Teams. There are worlds created by Microsoft themselves. For example, these immersive spaces have something what's called spatial audio, which means that when you join the environment, you're not met with 12 people talking on top of each other, but rather you can take a few steps into the left in the virtual world and have a conversation with your coworkers. And if someone's at the other side of the space, they will not hear you. So for example, think of it more like your office break room rather than a Teams meeting where one person is talking and the others are always listening. The most interesting part about immersive spaces are custom experiences, which are worlds that enterprises can create for themselves. These worlds are created in Unity, which means that you have to have some level of game developing experience. And this is where experience with, for example, the late Altspace VR is actually quite beneficial. You can also take these custom experiences and extend them with the use of C-sharp cloud scripting, which basically gives you the whole power of C-sharp and .NET Core to use inside of these custom experiences. You can also add a lot of interactive content like websites or videos inside your 3D world, which is quite cool. You can also integrate physics into the world, meaning that you can pick up a ball and throw it to your coworker in VR. There are also some event management and hosting features, which means you can probably host your next company get together or party inside of Mesh. These immersive experiences are only in a private preview right now, which means that not everyone is able to use them yet. But with Mesh clearly arriving soon on the horizon, what can you do to get your organization ready for Mesh? First, if you aren't embracing and using avatars already, do so. You can distribute the avatars app easily from the team's admin center and then everyone inside the company can have some fun creating their avatars and learning to use them in meetings so that people already know what they are about. Also, now would be a great time to see if anyone inside your company knows how to use Unity or should you maybe find a partner who can create these worlds for your company. Also, now would be a good time to maybe start thinking about use cases for these immersive spaces and experiences. What would be the things that your company would want to do there? Would you like to have meetings? Do you want to host a party? Whatever you want to do inside these worlds, now is a great time to start planning them already. One of the biggest selling points of the Mesh platform is that it's made by Microsoft, 
which mean it holds all of the same security and compliance values that other Microsoft business products also hold. So you don't have to be worried with vetting and checking out a whole new platform that can handle your data because it's all in your own Microsoft environment. If you want a sneak peek into these immersive spaces and experiences, there was a great session at Build23 that I'm going to link in the description. You can check it out from there. Now I want to hear from you. Are you excited for Mesh? Do you see some great use cases for it already? Have you tried avatars in your organization yet? And if you haven't, why? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I would really appreciate if you would share this video to anyone who might be interested. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.